That's Marianne Hobbs. This is the Breeze Block BBC Radio One. And uh, oh, Helen, I can't believe you're leaving <laughs> us. She's literally Ben. She's going to produce quarter pound in beats <laughs> for Judge Jules and Roger Sanchez. She's abandoning us, and I cannot stand it. Can you? It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's terrible. Sorry. Oh, we're gonna miss you so bad. I miss you too. Uh, but anyway, listen to business this evening. Um, we dispatch you off to Glade Festival. You've been a couple of times, haven't you? And it's one of your favourite festivals <laughs> of the season. Tell us a bit about it, Hells. Yeah, I went last year and it's um it's a three-day thing it starts on the friday goes through to the saturday the sunday finishes about eight o'clock on the sunday and um it's a mini glastonbury it is basically a mini glastonbury but more of an electronic glastonbury so you don't get any of the bands really uh and it was much bigger this year there's probably about eight thousand people there whereas last year was about three thousand i think and you camp kind of in the middle of all the music as well so even if you want to go to bed you can't <laughs> and i did actually try to go to bed on the friday at about five o'clock and it was totally impossible i had to get up and carry on it has to be said as well ben this is a true fact isn't it helen always turns up with the bbc box and by the end of kind of the first couple of hours she's recruited 15 roadies who all want to carry her <laughs> equipment for her <laughs> i do try <laughs> But th- th- three of the of, of, of beautiful pieces of music really just kind of bite-sized chunks from from some of yeah. the most arresting sets we've got tonight. The first of which is from Silob, obviously massive artist on uh, Reflex recordings. Yeah. Big big favourite with Ben. This one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Silob plays in uh, in the little big tent, which was the warp tent last year, I think. Uh, and it might as well have been the warp tent again this year because it's that kind of sound. It's the really sort of hardcore, raving break sounds, and that's the kind of thing that Silob does really well. Um, other people who played in that in that tent at the same time were people like Shipmat, people like Exile, um, people like Cfax Acid, who were all wicked. And this for me was the thing that really kicked off the festival. It started, I think, about eleven o'clock on the Friday night and everybody was into it and I tell you what that tent it never died it <laughs> never died it was constant 24 hours for the three days that I was there <laughs> uh, we should point out just ahead of this as well there are there are some absolutely filthy dirty swear words in this aren't there so <laughs> if you're liable to be offended you know you've just tuned in you're kind of channel surfing and you're a, a, a decent fee paying uh, a licensed paying member of the public uh, please be warned that, that there are some low-flying ex- explicit many of them in this set that, that may offend you so um yeah if, if you feel you're liable to faint uh it's probably best to tune out for the next kind of 20 minutes or so uh this is silo recorded exclusively for the breeze block at the glade festival
get mental! Let's get mental! Let's get mental! Let's get mental! Let's get mental!
See you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. All you hoes like dick. Let me see you grab your tits. Girl, wanna shake that butt? What the fuck? Throw your hands up. Push that ceiling to the top. Let me see that pussy pop.
that tongue and drink that nut. Where you learn to freak like that? Whip that pussy, pop that cat. This is what I want you to do. Lick my balls into they blue. Get in what they can't see. Work this motherfucker, G. Like, 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 Festival exclusively for the Breeze Block on BBC Radio 1. One more time. Sincere, heartfelt apologies to anybody who may have been offended by that explicit language. It's back to Helen because uh, we've got a little bit more from Glade Festival coming up. We've got a, a set from the mighty Scotch Egg, but I want us to well chat a little bit about what it was actually like to be there, Hells, because... I understand there were some quite a few rainbow obsessives lurking about for starters, weren't there? I, yeah, I don't know. If you listen to this set, I don't know whether these people knew what Scotch Egg was going to be playing, but um, I was sitting outside with a whole group of people and uh, I was just kind of watching the tent and there were two guys walking into the tent and they had just plain white t-shirts on and they kind of printed up themselves and it had a picture of Bungle off Rainbow. You know Bungle the Bear off Rainbow? Yeah. 
I had a picture of him and it said instead of we are junglists it had we are bunglists <laughs> printed on the back and if you listen really carefully to this set it actually he plays a rainbow sample a sample from the rainbow theme tune I don't know if they knew what he was going to play but I thought it was pretty clever yeah, that's brilliant <laughs> and I mean shit Matt as well um I, I remember you telling you, you came bounding into the office just a couple of weeks ago and told us your sister had seen him recently another yeah. man who seems to be obsessed with small woodland creatures at the moment yeah I know there, there are a lot of strangely dressed people there and shit Matt didn't actually dress like this on uh, on that particular Saturday but uh, my sister told me she, she went to see him at a gig and um, she went in there kind of not really knowing what to expect and there he was behind the decks and he had he had a whole badger head <laughs> on his head yes, Appa- mate. apparently Ben loves this don't you <laughs> <laughs> apparently with the with two tiny little holes cut out for his eyes and my sister's like how the hell can he see what he's actually playing <laughs> <laughs> and he's not only playing with a badger head on his head he's also emceeing about all his badger friends <laughs> and what they do and uh, he's got badgers at the side of the decks just dancing around just people dressed up as badgers dancing around Amazing. <laughs> but he didn't he didn't actually do this at Glade he didn't dress up but there were plenty of people who were we saw on the Sunday he was obviously a fairly bad casualty of the weekend uh, a man completely naked painted in purple body paint with a bright pink um, ray gun just r- running around <laughs> shooting that people was <laughs> that wasn't me I don't <laughs> that wasn't me <laughs> you don't know it was painted purple it could have been I don't know <laughs> Tell us about Scotch Egg then. What was that set like? Because, I mean, he's a notorious madman, isn't he, really? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was really mad. And, you know, there were obvious, obvious fans in there. People with kind of TVs on their heads. (laughs) I I, I don't really know how else to describe it. And also a woman with um, an E.T., kind of big E.T. paper mache thing. These are the sort of people that go and see Scotch Egg. And I think once you listen to the set, you'll probably understand why. (laughs) All right, let's do it. This is Scotch Egg recorded exclusively for the Breeze Block on BBC Radio 1 at uh, the Magical Glade Festival.
then I think I might like to be a bungalist. <laughs> I'll get you a T-shirt for Christmas. Do, do you think there's a particular criteria that you'd have to fulfil before the bungalist would allow you to join the club? All your brains falling out of your ears. Really, brains out of ears. If you are a bungalist, one of the bungalists maybe that Helen saw at Glade, perhaps you'd like to get in touch with us. <laughs> Send us some photographs, we'll stick them up on the Radio on website. Um, mary.ann.hobbs at bbc.co.uk and let us know, like if this is a kind of formal collective, how you would join such a, a salubrious group because we would love to know we really would mary.ann.hobbs at bbc.co.uk if you are a bunglist or indeed you know one maybe you live next door to one who knows maybe your brother's one <laughs> let us know